Hi, this is Adrian from White Hat Box, and today we're going to look at the upload file feature of Botchief. Many web services have uh, a feature where they, you can upload a file, and you will want to include this in your bot sooner or later. So today we're going to go to Fiverr.com and change the profile image by uploading a, a new profile image file. So I've started a new project called Upload File here, and I've gone to the Fiverr.com page, and we can add that as a as the first part of the new bot by clicking the globe icon here. And if I click on that, it's got the URL in it. So I'll click Save, and that's the first part of the bot done and saved. So now we're going to tell the bot to click on this sign in button so that we can log in. So the first thing we do is uh, add an action to operator control. And now we're going to get the get the control. We can use this nice new big select control button here, or you can still get it on the right click menu as before. So we'll click on the sign in box. Click the find HTML item button. And it's found one, so that's obviously the one we want. Click save. <clears throat> and now I'll actually click on it in the browser to open the, the uh, login GUI. There it is. So now I want to add the uh, username and password input. So, so I'm going to add two actions at the same time. Set value and then another set value. And the first set value is going to be the username. So as before, we need to get the control first. Click find HTML item. And we're going to input the username. Just paste that in. And now I can click save to that. And now we'll do a similar thing for the password. So select the control. Click find HTML item, that's good. Found one item. And type in the password. And click save to that. So that's another control operate. Select the control, which is this one. Find HTML, one item, that's good. And save that. So now we should be able to run each of these three operations. Uh, let's try them. We've done the control uh, operate because we're already on this screen here. So let's set the first value. Yep, that's gone in just fine. Uh, let's set the password now. Insert the password. Yep, that's worked well. And let's see if the uh, login works. Hit the test run. We're going to log in. There we are, we're logged in. And now we can have a go to the profile and, and change the profile image. So now we have to go to the profile page. Just set the, take the browser there. That's the page we want. So the next thing I do is add another load URL to load that particular URL in. There we go, and save it. And now we get down to the main business of the day, which is to upload a file. So we right click and add an action. Here's the upload file instruction. And, the, and there's two sections to it. The first is we need to tell Botchief where the actual browse button is. So that's the first section. It's very similar to the control operate function. So we'll click on that to highlight it. And we select the control, which is this one here, this browse. Find HTML item. There we are, it's found one. And click save. So that's fine. Now, the bit where we upload the file. Now, first of all, we need a variable. So we're going to variable management because the variable 
is going to hold all of the files or the that, that we will choose randomly from in order to insert one as the profile image. So we need to create a variable first. Add new variable. First we need to give it a name. Picks. Now this time we're going to leave the variable uninitialized. That's because we want the user to set the path for the folder that contains the files when the bot is run in Botchief itself. So the users, we leave it uninitialized so that the user has to set the folder path. Now this is going to be a table with one column and the one column is going to list all the, the images, the image files. Let's call that pick files. I can modify um, the column. So now the column's called pick files, and that's the variable set. So now I can choose the variable name here, the one we just created, called picks. And now what we want to do is see what the window is called that uploads the files, because we have to put the name of the browser window in this box here. And the way we find out what that window is called is by simply clicking this browse button. The window opens and you can see it's called file upload. So that's what we need to put in this window title box. File upload. Now going down to the column name, there's only one column and that's pick files. And now we can click save. Now, just before we finish it, one thing I haven't done and another little feature I want to show you is that after this control operate here, this is the one where the user logs in just before loading up the profile URL. I want to put a, a wait instruction in there just while the page loads up while it's logging in the user. Because if, if you don't put a wait in there, it's going to try to load the URL, possibly before the user is even logged in. So you know how it is when you log in. Sometimes you just have to wait a few seconds. So if we click, rather than clicking the top part here, if you click the actual instruction and insert an action, it will put it just above the instruction that you're on. So if I click sleep, you can see there sleep's just gone in between the control operate and load URL. And now I can click on that and put a few seconds into wait. Just to make sure I'm going to put uh, 10,000 milliseconds. In other words, 10 seconds, probably a bit too much, but just for demonstration purposes. And now I can click save to that. So now we're uh, nearly done. If the uh, bot has finished uploading the the file, the image file, we, the only thing we'd need to do after that is to click this save changes button here. So I'm going to add one more control operate for this save changes button. Select the control, which is the one here. Find the item. Yep, it's found one, that's good. Click save. And I think just for the purposes of this demonstration, we'll just add a, a, another sleep onto the end. Just so that when it runs, we can actually see what's happened. So I'll do that for um, 10 seconds as well. This is just so that it doesn't necessarily need that, but it's just so that when we run this in Botchief itself, we'll be able to see what's happened. Okay, there we go. That's the that's the bot finish. That didn't take long, did it? And now what we're going to do is open Bot Chief itself and run this bot and see it working. See the bot in action. So now I've got Bot Chief itself open, and we need to add the, a task that will use the module we just created. So the task name we'll call Fiverr, and now we need to import the module we just created, which is that one. We keep these settings the same, one thread and debug mode so that we can see what's happening. Now this is where we set the variable. 
Remember during the writing of the module we said that the variable had to be initialized by the user and this is where the user sets the path that contains the folder. In this section you can actually type in here or you can import a CSV file or you can do this, you can import all the file names in a directory. There's the directory, click OK to that and there they all are. So I can click save there, move on to the next section, we don't need any values saving and we're not going to use a proxy. So I can finish now and I should be able to run uh, the task. So when I click start it asks how many times, we'll just do the one this time because we'll be able to watch what's going on. If I click OK to that then the bot should run. So the first thing it does is open a browser and goes to the Fiverr page. And then we're going to sign in. That's signed in OK. Now it should go to the profile page. That's after we put the, the sleep process in, if you remember. And now it's going to go to the upload file, it's uploading there it is, it's changed so that's the, the bot working that works very well and you can see that um, it's a relatively simple process to upload a file, whether it's an image file or a file that's used for any other uh, pr web process of any of the web services that you'll want to use when you're creating bots with Botchief Look out for the next video tutorial coming soon. Thanks for watching.